came out Wednesday after work. Got one. That thing's trying to fight now. I thought it was a dick, maybe it's not. What is this? The water was fired. It's a fucking trout, bro. Oh, it just went over by the line. That was cool. Probably ate the hook too. I don't see my hook on my way. Oh! Oh, he got off. Cool. I don't have to talk. Shout out to pay the ass to get off anyway. That was cool though. This is crazy. I think there's a little striper around here. That looks like a two pounder. And he actually was coming after my robo worm, but he keeps turning away at the last second. Then when I bring it closer, then he starts showing himself more. And I'm like, why isn't he hitting it when it's just a little deeper? I just got a weight list and I'm not even catching that far out. I'm only like 15 feet out. But I saw him over here, there's a little bush under there right there. I don't know if you could see it. But first he came up here earlier, rolled back, and then so I kept throwing the little rubber worm right there and he came up a few times. He's really white looking, that's why I think it's a striper compared to a largemouth. But uh, yeah, I almost got one on a rubber worm. Let's we'll see if I can get him. Look at that one right there, bro. Dude, this is the craziest shit right now. This fool was chasing like a one pounder that almost jumped in my lap, dude. It was crazy. Right here in front of me, they just jumped, it jumped right here. And this fool was chasing him like a little rocket through here. Now look at him, he's just chilling by me. And dude, all my poles right now are unrigged. <laughs> Cause I just got a couple snags on each one. I'm like, dude, that figures. I'm gonna try to rig one real quick. But dude, that thing, that thing's hot. Dude, it sucks. He kept swimming around right here. I finally got my rig on, dude. I. Right when I turn around and throw it down, boom, he's gone. I'm like, dude. Or she. That thing was nice, man. That was cool though. It came back up and shut off a little bit for me. Hopefully it got on the cam a little bit. But yeah, dude, I think that thing burned out now. Which sucks because, dude, literally, it was here. I turned around to put on my worm, turned back around, and boom, that thing was gone. I would have my pose ready, I might have been able to get it. Oh well. So I'll show you guys how I catch really small fish. I'll just take a little tank hook like this one. It's just a little size six. It's a owner circle hook. I like using the circle hooks. And I pinched a barb off too to make it easier to get small fish off the hook. But then also too to make less uh, down the throat things. Cause dude, trying to get small, hook out of the throat of a really small fish is a pain. So I pinch a worm in half, just a little tiny piece like that. And then just kind of thread it on a little bit. That's all it takes, just a little tiny. And then I have a weight on the bottom, just like a normal draft that I think I have a half ounce on right now. I usually do heavier because it gets windy here a lot. But um, if you have a really light setup too, you don't need as much weight. You can still catch it pretty far. Put it like right here where all these little fish are. You can't see the fish right now. There's all kinds of little fish all stacked in there. That thing is I don't think there's too many bluegills. Most of them are just uh, baby smallmouth bass. I'm gonna get one real quick.
Yeah. I usually get my hand wet so you don't wipe off all the slime. Plus these are just the babies, you don't want to try to keep them. Oops. There it goes. See how easy it was there? Alright, re rig to see if I get one. You kind of just look out there for stuff. I think there's like a little bush right around in here. It's a little cliff right around there. So let's try to throw towards a little deeper cliff. It'll probably be right around the edge of it. I'm trying to hit hide up in the shade, stay real tight to the cliffs so and no big fish eat them. Uh-oh. Come a little... Nice and little super. That little ding. Yeah. See, that's what's cool about throwing off another fish too sometimes. You catch a little ding. Or you can catch huge ones too, dude. I thought I was throwing for a big I had like a six pound bass hit it. I lost him on the way in. So I never got to do a real recording of that one. It's a little smally. That's why it's not so good. See how easy to get the heck out of here. Look at that little baby smally. That's cool. Later. That worm fell off, but they grabbed it. Oh wait, it's on my knife. Got pushed up the knife. Oh yeah, I should show you too, because this is why I like using the dropper loop. So, get the little loop like that. Dropper loop, surgeon loop's not whatever you want to call it. But see how it pushed the worm up the line? And because the line doesn't really go taut right there, underwater, this can move around a little bit more. I think you get a little bit more action out of your baits. It's really good for ocean too in thicker line because then it holds your baits away from the line a lot of people don't like it because they think it wraps around too much but for me it doesn't really wrap around like that it might every once in a while usually like after a fish catch because sometimes you know the fish bite hard so put a lot of tension on your line and if you're using light line then it, of course it gets worse but then you could just break off and uh, retire or something as long as the line's not frayed though you're usually pretty good to keep rolling just got to untangle it a little bit Back in, I might have to re hook him one more time. Right there. And sometimes a little piece of worm could last for like five, six fish or more. Depends if they, they tear it off. Because sometimes the little ones will just tear off a piece of it and not get the hook. But I was stuck way out there. I was wondering why, and I had a little bluegill on there. I had to walk on the banks to get him out. nice about it is you could get a lot of little fish with this but you could also catch really big fish I usually double hook it like that put it on there then you're good to go one of the main things about it though is it's good for kids because they'll catch little fish they're better than the skunk trying to only get big fish and I mean even for you too Sometimes you're gonna find a bait fish with it and then you'll know where to kind of search for the bigger fish. See, look how blown out the water is. There's a southwest wind today, which doesn't make sense because this is like, it'd be southeast coming this way. Maybe all the boats out, I don't know. Yeah, so I actually had two bites right here. I don't know if you can tell, but the water's actually, it's still a little murky right here because there's a ton of boats out, but um, it's a lot better than where it was when I first recorded. Had two bites, but I actually hooked up the fish, but they got off on the way in, but they were just smalls. I saw one of them towards the top. But yeah, Let's see if I can get a big one. I think I got one, I don't know. It was right off the drop. I don't feel nothing fighting, but definitely feel pressure. Light pressure. I don't know. Oh yeah. Little one. Oh 
That was crazy, it was right off the drop. I didn't even feel it bite, basically. I thought I hooked like a little stick. Not bad, just a little up out of Better, are we? Ooh, I think I got a better one. Right in the same spot. I'm going to the other side. Might be a two pounder. I don't have my jack too tight. I can fight a little bit. Yeah, this one's a nice one. A lot nicer. That's cool. Okay. Get it. Get it hook out. Wants to go up. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Look at that one, bro. That's probably like a two and a half. That's not bad. Right, let's get him out of here. There he goes. That's it. So yeah, my first two bites, I was using a six and a half inch uh, oxblood robo worm, and then uh, I lost a couple on some snags. Uh, Luckily, I just lost a couple weights too, but um, I was able to use the worm for a bunch of casts. But then once I lost a couple of them, then I switched up to the Zoom. It's a green with a red flake and black flake. And then that's what I caught the last two fish on. But I did get two bites with the Oxblood Robo. So if you just get like a couple bites here and there, it depends. You know, if you're getting bit a lot, usually that's when you can say, okay, cool, this color is working good. But uh, that doesn't mean other colors aren't going to work and you can't get bites out of them. So like, yeah, my first two bites, they were small fish and they were kind of up close when I was working it kind of a little bit deeper. Probably like 30, 40 feet, maybe 50 feet in. And then they probably hit at like 10 or five feet. So they're probably just like the close runners, but it was kind of murky right here, which is, I kind of like it like this because then they can't really see your bait perfectly. And so it kind of makes them want to strike better sometimes compared to like super murky where you kind of need some. I don't really know what colors you should use in that. I don't really have those colors either. So I can try to avoid that, that water unless I'm throwing like right on the very edge of it. Cause then at least you can use like more of your natural baits right on the edge. And sometimes fish will just be smashing it cause they hang out at that edge right there. 